Welcome back everyone to The Xamarin Show. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and today I am crazy excited because George from the Microsoft Garage team is here to show this ridiculously amazing app that interns built. Yes, that's 100% yes. true. Yes, what is this thing called? It's called what? Uh, Ink to Code, a Microsoft Garage project. Okay, so what do you do, well, first off, what do you do and what is the Microsoft Garage? Because we've had no one ever from the garage on here. Wow, okay, yeah. I get to be the first. Yeah. Um, so the Microsoft Garage is a place, uh, a space, a place, and a group of people who um, we try to encourage new ways of doing things and new ways of thinking and new ways of experimenting mm -hmm. uh, for the benefit of our customers. Oh, cool. So we do, uh, we do lots of activities for Microsoft. We, uh, we run hackathons. We have maker spaces. And uh, we also have this intern program um, that's based in uh, both Cambridge, Massachusetts and Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, cool. And uh, we take super talented amazing university students and they come in and they help us prototype and build experiments and um, really do amazing stuff like ink to code That's awesome. So you get to like tinker and try out and listen to all of our developers and build awesome, ridiculous stuff. Exactly. Yeah, that's super yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. It's I've, super fun. I've walked through <laughs> some of them. I think in like in, in one of our buildings, 27, there's like robots and there's like all sorts yeah, of crazy the, stuff. Yeah, there's the punching robots. So yeah, you can, yeah. You can go in there and, and it's, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> sparring with a robot. That's probably not a good idea. So what do you do um, at the garage and, and, and how did this project come about? So I, I mostly work with the teams that come up with, um, with different ideas we use to build new product. Okay. Um, so I um, both help shepherd the, the intern teams as they come in and start like, getting started. How do we get them started? How do we have the idea and, and bring it to, to fruition? Okay. Got it. So I think Ink to Code, I think we could talk about it. But I feel like we should just show it because it kind of demos yeah. in a way and then talk about it. How yeah, do you feel about that? That's, that's probably a better way to do All it. Right, so I tried talking about it before and I usually <laughs> miss the point. So. so set it up. Like, What are we looking at right now? So this is, uh, this is what you see when you launch the code. Um, it's it, a UWP app? It's a UWP app okay. available right now in the Microsoft Store. You can okay. go get it for free. Um, and uh, when you launch the app, you are greeted with a blank canvas. Okay. And um, I have my Surface Pen in my hand. I don't know if you can, you can see what I'm doing here. Yep, you should be a little um, hip right there. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Uh, so I'm going to pretend that um, I'm going to sketch out my next great app. Okay. Um, and uh, I think the one that we've been, we've been kind of playing around with as our nice little experiment is a tip calculator. Oh, okay. It's the next big thing on the App Store. I don't know if anyone's Yeah, kind of I've, I've never seen any or installed any. So No, perfect. they definitely, none has ever existed before. So you're just drawing stuff. So I'm just going to start drawing and I'm going to draw a phone. Um, and you can see immediately what happened here. I'm just going to kind of zoom out so you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, it snapped in and started thinking that I am drawing a phone app. And you can see it just snapped into that right size. It just recognized that that's what I drew. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw the title of my app, which is Tip Calculator. So the idea here is that we literally are just coming in and I have this idea for an app and yep. I'm just going to draw it. I'm just going to start and sketching. I'm and I, I've done this on like pieces of paper, journals, books like this, but this is like real. Yep. This okay. is this is um, we, we we've been calling this a smarter napkin. <laughs> a smarter napkin. Um, so many so many like great ad app ideas have actually started from that. So we figured it was a, a cheeky way to think about it. Um, so uh, my app's going to have um, a logo. Okay. You need to have a good logo. So I'm going to draw uh, a box with an a with a cross through it. Uh -huh. And you can see I got snapped in, recognized as an image. Cool. Um, this shorthand that I'm using here is actually, we looked at designers, we looked at user interface designers and um, we asked them to show us their notebooks. Yeah. And one of the things that our, our, um, our intern teams that actually went out to do this, they actually did a lot of user research uh, to figure out the right way to, to, um, to have these gestures work. Oh, very cool. So if you're not familiar with that, ah. totally fine. Uh, first time you're actually launching to code, when you first install it, you actually see this very handy guide uh, over here, we'll show you um, the different gestures that we support right now and also how to okay. use some of the uh, Whoa, some advanced, advanced features of the app. Oh, nice. Um, so, I'm going to keep drawing here. Um, my app is going to calculate tips. We're going to be pretty generous, so we're going to okay. start with a 15% uh, a tip, um, an 18% tip, and a 20% tip. Okay. Now, um, you might start thinking that I've now drawn these slightly out of line. And yeah. You're like, this is not super straight. Um, different sizes, different yeah, things. They're, yeah. yeah, they're kind of all over the place right now. So um, we're going to bring out another tool. Mm -hmm. And since we're using Windows Ink, we can, uh, we can make use of the smart toolbar. So I'm going to switch pens here. And we have two pens over here. We have the regular pen and we have the constraint pen. Oh, OK. So I'm going to pick up this constraint pen. 
and I'm going to draw a red line, a straight red line. And you'll see that it actually snapped in. It made this dotted red line. Again, this is inspired from designers. We took designer shorthand of uh, red lines. Yeah, yeah. That's actually where this one came from. This is it reminds a, me very much of getting like, oh, this is a die line of a cutout, or this is exactly what you need to follow. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And if you really want to get precise, you can just tap on the oh. grid, and you can get this uh, this really handy grid up here. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna bring all my elements into alignment. I'm just gonna tap and hit con uh, and hit snap. And this one didn't quite go where I wanted it to go, so I'm just going to move it so it snaps to the bottom. Okay, perfect. Which is what we really want. There we go. Nice. And now see they're they're uh, much more aligned, and some of my OCD is gone, so we can keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, you know we can um, we can have uh, a text field in here for the amount. And if it doesn't recognize what your handwriting is doing, that's fine. You can just write on top. Ah, nice. And it will re-recognize and just do that. Um, really useful for people like me, uh, who've been used to writing in chicken scratch yeah, for so long that too. it's um, super useful for that. So you can, uh, you can move this around. We're just going to um, resize this just a little bit. And I'm just going to keep going here just in the interest of time so we don't um, spend all day. And I'm just going to have one little button down here. Boom. And we're going to have that say calculate. Oops. Well, one day I'll, I'll be able to write. <laughs> nice. There we go. So you drew that box, drew a circle, and then you're like, this is what the button should also say. Yep. And we can see that the amount is very different than the button because it has those lines through it. So like those are exactly. the graphical indication. Yeah, some sort of indication to help you understand that uh, they're slightly different. Yeah. The really cool part, though, this is the, the sketching part is incredible, and we worked really I mean, hard on it. I, I can only imagine because in my mind, I know one developer, uh, Frank, who have, we've had on before, he's done a lot of this, like, this is what a circle, and then it snaps in, and this is a square. And like, that's not yeah, easy yeah. to do. So like, there's a lot of love and passion for just <laughs> that part of it alone, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're actually we're making really heavy use of the Windows Smart Ink platform. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the, the artificial intelligence and machine learning is actually behind it. It's actually powered from Windows. Oh, cool. So we're actually we're leveraging a lot of that to make this, this magic happen. Yeah. Um, the super cool part, though, this is my favorite, is um, we call it ink to code, not just ink. Yeah, uh, I see so the inking, yeah. <laughs> right, the inking is here. You can see that. Um, so I'm going to uh, clip my surface, my, my pen back in, and I'm just going to uh, pull my surface back up into uh, laptop mode. Okay, cool. And I'm going to use my mouse and go up here to export. Uh -huh. And you'll see right now we can export to uh, Android XML and UWP XAML. Oh, very cool. Um, so the idea that we had is that we really wanted to make it just super fast for you yeah. to start with your next app. We see so many developers who um, they start building your app and they kind of uh, jump into the tool and they start getting UI elements arranged on the screen correctly. And it's kind of hard to take that napkin sketch that you drew earlier and bring it into yeah. the app. So we're trying to jumpstart that process a little bit. Yeah, and while they have the designers, you're, you're, you're literally then dragging and dropping and figuring out the constraint system. Then they're, they're different between Android and, and Windows 10. And, exactly. You know, I fell in love with Android XML because it was very much like XAML, but it was yep. different and there's a lot of yeah, different yeah, things. It's, it's just a little, it's a little bit different. A little different, yeah. But this so, is pretty cool. So you can just export right so there. So you can just export um, and I'll just do both because, mm -hmm. um, because we can and why not? Um, so if you're using something like Xamarin, which would be super useful here, uh, you can use both the Android XML and the UWP XAML to make yourself a, a Xamarin app yeah. and have it just, you, you can start going right here. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm pick up my mouse over here. I'm just going to jump in and I'm going to pull open the UWP one. I'm going to open that with Visual Studio Code. Um, you can see that the, the XAML code that it generates uh, has everything we need to actually get going. Like this will oh, render wow. and, and uh, display on the screen perfectly. And rather than, um, than just talk about it, I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to pop over my, um, my Visual Studio over here, uh, and I have a UWP app ready to go. If you look at our blog post, you can see examples of how to make the, the Android app in Xamarin yeah. get going too. So I'm going to try and show you a different ones. So yeah, I'll put that link into the blog post, yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll see it's super, super easy to get started. Um, make sure I actually copy that. The whole page is like... whole page is drag and drop. Boom. Um, I also could have just dragged and dropped that. And then it actually has the real elements, right? Because obviously that, that text box or whatever, it, you know, it's not going to show us the 
squiggly version, right? It's going to show us the real version. That's the goal, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you can see I'm just going in and just uh, swapping names in. The only mm -hmm. thing, uh, you have to look for the to-dos that we actually leave you. We actually make it a little bit easy. Uh -huh. um, so we put a little to-do in there so you can, um, you can get going. I'm just going to replace this with the store logo that Windows generates for you just for proof of concept. You can replace yeah. this with anything you'd like. Um, and we can go ahead and run this, and you'll see that uh, it gives us a really big jump start on actually getting our, our prototype ready. So you could start um, adding the rest of your code, adding the app logic, and you have your prototype ready to go, ready to start testing out your next idea. Yeah, I could see a designer just coming in, they have this idea for this next page, and oh, here it is, right? And Because anyone could do this. I feel like as a developer, I think sometimes it's hard for me to use design tools, but right. I can draw something, right? Exactly, oh, cool. and it's it's yeah. it's kind of ready to go. And you can see, like, I have lots of um, I have lots of functionality. I mean, these are full function uh, UDP elements, yes. and, and just lined up and ready to go on the screen. I need a little bit of work to kind of make this look like presentable, but yeah. it's much less time for me to get started with my app than yeah. if I had to do everything from scratch from day one. Very cool. What is the uh Yes, yeah, so this is nice. So you just use any of your images, and then you can. What's cool here is that you can actually then, yeah, see the constraint system. You can modify stuff. So if you're like, oh, exactly. I just go, you know, this is that was a phone, but now this is what it's going to look like on desktop, right? So you can start modifying that a little bit too. Right, and if you start seeing something that you're like, wow, like you know, like we're we're being very precise with the with the <laughs> height and the width of what you're getting yeah. at. We really do our best job to replicate where you were with the pen. Yeah, um, you can go in and you can start modifying that and saying like, "Hey, like this is actually going to be slightly more pixels or less pixels off to the left or right." That's really cool. What does the Android XML look like? I'm just curious out of the yeah, box yeah. here because that's what I, I'm all I'm all about. I like the, the UWP. It's also super cool that yeah, I am a cross-platform developer, but I want the platform-specific stuff. And that's what I want. Oh, right, and this. you can see we, we do the same thing. Um, in Android, one of the things that we do to make the layout a little bit easier and to make sure it works on different screen sizes, we use the constraint layout. Oh, yeah. Um, and so when you're, when you're building this and you're bringing this into your Android project in Xamarin, uh, all you have to do is pull in the Xamarin constraint layout package Got from it. NuGet, and you're just ready to go. Yeah, and if you're, anyone's not familiar, that's kind of like the new, new awesome also, too, because I'm really used to like linear layouts and kind of placing yeah. things and wrapping things. But like iOS, it has a constraint system and kind of like grids that are almost like constraint systems. Yeah. Android has, has done that as an optional way of doing it too, which is cool. But yeah, these look familiar. I have text views and um, the constraint layout and, and all of my different controls that I would want. Wow, that's Yeah, really and, these, cool. and these come through and these will render on uh, almost any size display yeah. you would have running on Android. So it makes it super convenient, really easy to get started, and really easy to make sure that no matter what um, what kind of device you're going to deploy to, that it will look good. Yeah, how did the, so so who built this and how do I get it? Like, uh, that's, that's always my question. I was like, I, now everyone just saw it, and they're like, I don't want to go do right. that. Everyone wants to so, go get it. Uh, you can go get it now. Yeah. Um, so where do, It's free. Where, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's awesome, by the way, yeah. So where, where can people find out about this and where can they grab it from? So uh, we always recommend that people come and visit us at microsoft.com forward slash garage. Okay. Uh, we have uh, all the information about the app, where to get it, the link to the store. Um, and we have two really extra big things on here. Uh, we'd love for you to kind of read about and see the uh, our intern team to actually put this together. They're super talented. Oh, nice. And this would not be possible without them. So uh, make, sure, <laughs> make sure you go down and yeah. see you there and give them credit. That's really cool. Um, the other big thing that we, we really want to encourage people to do is provide feedback. Mm -hmm. We are hosting a user voice site, so if you have a specific feature requests or bugs or ideas that you want to suggest, um, we're certainly willing to hear that. We're launching this as a Microsoft Garage project in the spirit of trying to learn. Yeah. And I think what um, you know, my, the whole team and myself, we're trying to figure out how can we make this a better tool to help people jumpstart their next project? So that makes sense. Yeah, we're totally open to suggestions and ideas. Yeah, so I'd imagine probably the first feedback you probably get is like, "Oh, where's the Xamarin form XAML?" Right? Yeah, so that's where people can give you feedback because that's team. where they can go and find that and upload yeah. that idea and help get, help us prioritize that. Yeah, I think uh, that's, our backlog. It's an important thing to remember that like a team of interns like you know came into the garage builders. How long did it take for them to build? Uh, we got started with the initial idea back in June. Okay, uh, that's when we started prototyping and playing around with the idea. Yeah. It's, it's amazing to see, like, because I've always thought about something like this, but I'm like, I don't have time for that, right? <laughs> these interns, these, you know, these, 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 these interns come in, they just, like, build this amazing application, so yeah, it's, that's really it's, cool. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I mean, like, like we said, they're super talented uh, college students, and we're, we're thrilled, actually, that many of them are actually coming back to rejoin us. Nice. Uh, they're actually coming back and 
yeah. hopefully give us another hand to help us continue working on this. Is there a place on the Garage website where people maybe that are interested in interning, like can they find that on the Garage website too? Sure. Um, our Garage internships, if you're interested in joining us. Uh, yeah, pitch as it. A, I'm ready. Yeah, I, as a I, I get this question student. all the time, by the way, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. There's got to be a website somewhere. No, absolutely. Um, and we actually, uh, we work with the rest of our uh, Microsoft University recruiting team to get uh, these super talented interns. So if you're interested, uh, please go to microsoft.com forward slash university. There's a button on there. It says find my school recruiter. Oh, nice. You can get in touch and that's how you can get started with your application process. Awesome. So, well, George, this is absolutely amazing. I love it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with it. It's yeah. kind of it's fun. I'll put all of the links into the show notes below. Um, and there's some blogs on it, some more details, how to get it into your Xamarin Android application. Yep. But yeah, thank you so much for coming on and show this off. Yeah, no, this, is, uh, this has been great. Yeah. I'm really happy to be here. So. Awesome. Thank well, you. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. This has been another episode of The Xamarin Show. Don't forget to subscribe. It's up over there, down over there. Ding that bell. You know what to do. Get those notifications right in your inbox each and every week. So until next time, thanks for watching.